Doctors, what can you tell us about this uh, fantastic woman in history? She was really um, one role model for any of us females in science and especially in radiation oncology. So she was actually born in Poland and her parents were both uh, teachers. Her mom was a high school principal and her father was a math and physics uh, teacher. And that's where she got her inspiration. However, she couldn't go to a higher education in her native country of uh, Poland and therefore she went to France and she lived in Paris with uh, some family members because uh, they were already located there. And well, she, she wasn't allowed to go to university exactly. in Poland because she was female. Exactly. Right? So. so that's the first barrier. Uh, but the exciting thing about her, aside from her discoveries of radium and polonium, um, was the fact that she was the first person to ever have two Nobel Prizes, mm -hmm. so she... In physics and chemistry. Yes. So, I mean, she was an amazing woman, and I mean, she paid a deep price, right, because through all of her um, experimental evaluation of, of radiation and live radioactive sources, she, she died of... She developed a condition called aplastic anemia. So it's the complete depletion of cells in the bone marrow, and therefore she died. So she also taught science throughout, even through she her did. death, right? Yes. Yeah. So there was not a lot, a lot of knowledge about radiation protection, which we nowadays uh, oh, have well. a full understanding. And one of the radioactive sources that she discovered, um, cesium, was literally used um, until pregnancy. 10 years ago to cure cervix cancer. Well, that's amazing. So, yeah, she also developed a mobile uh, x-ray unit during World War I. Um, it was the first use of diagnostic x-rays so that she could help heal the wounded warriors in, war in World War I.